So Nick, the common question in the kitchen for me is always from a customer's point of view, you know, what's my favorite dish? What do I like to eat? Same thing going from the farm. What's your favorite vegetable that you like to grow? And yeah, tell us a bit about that. Yeah, well, people always ask me that question and I've never got the same answer. It's sort of probably like yourself. I'm more inspired about what's in front of me at the time. Yeah, okay, yep. So my favorite vegetable might be these gorgeous little uh, golden beetroots that yep. are perfectly shaped and I've put a lot of effort into growing and I'm really happy with where they are. But then I might move on to the current that uh, we've sort of grown slowly over the winter period. Yeah. So it's, it's just an evolution of uh, yeah, nice. what's inspiring us at the time. So in this bed here, Chef, we've got uh, your watermelon relishes coming through. They're still very, very small at this stage. Mm. probably still a couple of weeks away. Well, probably about three weeks away, actually, because in um, obviously in winter, things take a lot more time to grow. Um, so you've got to be a bit more patient. But in that, uh, winter veg is actually my favourite time of year. Yep. The flavour is just extremely intense because the ground is cooler. Yep. Um, it takes a lot more energy and a lot more time for the little veg to grow, which allows it to be a bit more intense in flavour. So these these will be nice and peppery and fiery. It's the same with the carrots. Carrots, winter carrots are my favourite. Winter beetroots, uh, the sugar content's higher. Um, and they're just, they're beautiful and sweet. Where in the summer, it's a completely different thing where they're a lot sharper and crisper. Uh, they've got a lot of higher, more water content. Um, so I think these will go perfectly on the menu. Yeah, beautiful. I was gonna say, it's having all this, all the radishes and all the different one box, I said, you know, we, I think it's pro probably one of my favorite times of the year too, because we can actually start making that, you know, famous kimchi that we make. Yeah, so yeah, I think, yeah. um, you know, I really enjoy that sort of fermentation side as well. So I think to be able to get, you know, something like this that already has that beautiful, you know, kicker flavor, peppery, um, yeah, nothing beats it.